Okay, so let's take a look at question number two here in unit five, lesson five. And what we have is a word problem where we have to figure out um, how wide something is. So if we start reading the question here, it says we are looking at having a field that needs to be built that's 25 yards wide by 100 yards long. So let's just draw in a diagram of what we think this is going to be like. So a field is going to be, this case is going to be a rectangle. Um, it is going to be 100 by 25, okay? And then there is a strip of lawn around the field for spectators, and the area of the lawn, this new area, has to be double the area of the field. So what that looks like on the diagram is we're going to have another larger rectangle that uh, is around this field, okay? And its area because we don't know how big it is, its area is going to be double the, the width of the field. So we've got a couple things we can start to think about and write down here. First of all, we know area of a rectangle is just L times W. Um, we do know the area of the field, so I'm going to call that area of the field, this is A, um, is going to be 100 times 25. And then we also know the area of the lawn is double that. So it is going to be 100 times 25 times 2. So that's what the question is giving us. But what we need to know is how, what is the width of the lawn? So how wide is the strip of the lawn? So that is going to be our unknown. So we can just say let x equals the width okay, of the lawn. All right, now, so what does that look like on the diagram? Well, that is the distance between the edge of the field and the edge of the lawn. And because it, we, we're assuming the strip here is going to be the same for both cases, um, that extra width, both in the, um, the width and the height, or the, the length direction, the two directions is just going to be x. Okay, and that's going to be the same for both sides. So we're going to be extending essentially the rectangle by x on each side on the length and then on the width. All right, so then now what we need to do is how do we generate an equation here for all of this together? Well, <clears throat> what we know is we could say that we know what the total area is. We know the total area is going to be um, 2,500 for the field plus 5,000 for the lawn, which should give us 7,500 <clears throat> for the total area. But we also know area is equal to length times width. So we could say as our equation, 7,500 is equal to the length of this whole field. Now we know that the inside length is 100, and we will add two times the unknown length that will give us the total length, and then we know the 25 is the width, and we will add two times the unknown to that. So this is going to be our um, equation that we'll, we will need to solve. So I'll just do a quick expansion here. We'll look at 7,500 is equal to um, 2,500 plus 200x plus 50x plus 4x squared. Okay, and if we get that down to um, a term here, um, the 2,500 can come over to the other side, so we'll have 5,000, and then this is going to be equal to 250x plus 4x squared. So our quadratic equation, when we make it all equal to zero, should equal 4x squared plus 250x minus 5,000 should be equal to zero. Okay, so at this point, um, you have a couple of choices in how you can solve this. Um, quadratic formula, um, graphing. Um, I would factor out a GCF here, which is looking like is going to be at least two, possibly four, um, just to cut down on the, the size of the number. Um, but what you want to do is you're going to find x, <clears throat> which is going to give you um, two roots. Okay. Now, the one thing you'll have to watch here is when you calculate the roots, um, often, more than not, you're going to have a positive root, okay, and then you're going to have a negative root. 
So one of these will probably be what's called the an extraneous route to the question. Okay, so for example, we are looking to find the width of the lawn. So would it make sense to have a negative root if that's the one that appears? Um, and the answer is no, you don't want to have a negative distance. So any negative roots we can throw out and all we're looking for is just to see what the positive root is. Okay, so I'm just going to leave the question at that um, level right here. You should be able to take it through. Um, use whatever tool or method that you find easiest in order to solve for the value for x. Um, but you should find out that one of the roots here is positive, one is negative, and the actual value will be the width of the lawn that you have to build around it.